at one point was in debt over more than what I what I would make in a year. And there were some bad people at that time that uh, that were after me for the money. Well, records are expected to be set this weekend when it comes to Super Bowl betting and a warning tonight about the dangers of betting more than you can afford. And Jason Barry sat down with a recovering addict who has some advice for anyone willing to wager big on this year's Super Bowl. It used to be if you wanted to bet on the Super Bowl legally, you had to go to Vegas or Atlantic City. Now all you need is your cell phone, which is great if you can bet responsibly. Not so good if you have a gambling problem. You see the ads and billboards all over town. New FanDuel users. And the commercials are non-stop, letting everyone know how easy it is to place bets on your favorite sports teams. It's exposing a lot more people to to gambling. Steve Feinberg is a recovering compulsive gambler who knows firsthand how easy it is to get hooked on sports betting. It's a lot of fun to sit and watch games. And when you have that extra that extra juice going on during the game, that just makes it that much more fun. Feinberg loved the rush of winning, but then the losses added up, especially around the Super Bowl. One Super Bowl Sunday, the Phoenix man lost thousands of dollars on ridiculous bets he never should have made. If you're starting to, starting to feel it in your daily life, if your family is starting to feel it in their daily life, get help, and there's a lot of help available. According to the Arizona Department of Gaming, if you're going to bet on the Super Bowl or any other game, set a budget. Use it as a form of entertainment, not to make money. Know the odds and use a legal sports book. For more details on the resources available to gamblers who think they have a problem, just download our AZ Family News app. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.